So what if I were to tell you guys that we are going out 17 miles on the butter boat to the Coronado Islands? Well, that is exactly what we're doing. So we got my 12 foot butter boat out. I came, I came down to San Diego. Andrew's with me today. So 17 miles, Coronado Islands. We got two setups. Uh, let me see that rod behind you. This right here is a 30 foot diving mackerel on a Akuma with a MXJ Yvette reel. We've also got another 15 foot diver. So we're gonna troll those around when we get to the islands. And once we find some fish, we've got some surface irons to cast. I just bought this new Seeker Classic Series rod, eight and a half foot surface iron right there. We've also got some yo-yo jigs. This is the first time for me fishing for yellowtail, but we got a long ride ahead of us. So let's get on out there. Let's see if we can get on a plane with both of us, 40 pounds of ice. We've got an extra five gallons of gas too. Let's see if we can do this. All right, I think that'll work. About 18 miles an hour. Yeah. Once we get out to the islands, hopefully we load this boat down with some fish and have a slow ride back with a, a bunch of fish. We'll see. See you guys out there in the islands. Tell if they're on I don't think they're on any bait though oh I know why because those boats are chumming right now yeah so all the birds are following the chum all right baby buenos dias amigos we are out here in Mexico now so we just got to the islands take a look for yourself boom there's one boom there's another Birds are diving. Um, there might be some fish right here. So let's start trolling, dude. Give me that event right behind you. Our game plan right now is to troll two rods. Once we get any fish, then we're gonna switch over to yo-yo jigs or surface irons. 40 pound fluorocarbon leader tied to about a four foot. And that's the bait right there. A little mackerel, green mackerel. So I'm gonna put this out maybe, I don't know, 80 feet behind us, a big school of bait right below us, look at that. Oh man, we just passed by a nice little school of bait. So we're gonna stick to the game plan. Control this, this is a 30 foot diver. And we've also got a 15 foot diver. This is on 65 pound braid going to 40 pound floral. Right there like that, let's scope that out behind us. Just troll baby. Troll about four to five, four to seven miles per hour. Ooh, there's some birds on some bait over there. So since we are fishing in Mexican waters, we need a Mexican fishing license to fish out here. We also need a, a fishing visa and also this biosphere bracelet, which, which is basically Coronado Islands is kind of like a national park in Mexico. So you need an entry fee, which is a bracelet costs five bucks. So drags good on that. That's gonna troll right over here. So we got three rods with bait casters. This was the only thing I had, big old pen. But this is a 15 foot diver, like a sardine color. We're gonna troll right over to those birds right there. They might be on something. I'm keeping an eye on this rod. Hopefully get a yellowtail. There might be bonito out here, might be barracuda. We don't know, but we're gonna try. Here, you, you steer. Or you do this. Put that back about 80 feet. Oh, there's bait on the bottom right there. All right, let me see the drag. Oh, super tight. Oh, super tight. Okay, hold her. Now we're going pretty slow, three miles an hour, so let me speed up this troll. Yeah, you keep an eye on that rod. We're going through a big school of fish right now. Let me take a picture so you guys can see yourself. Four miles an hour, I'm gonna speed it up and slow it down, maybe get the attention of something. And that's the, this is the game plan right now. We're gonna troll around two rods. Once we find something, once something bites, we're gonna stop and idle, mark the spot, and fish it with some other jigs. 
a lot different than salmon trolling. Salmon trolling, you want to go as slow as possible, almost like two miles an hour, maybe three. But here, you, apparently, you want to go a little faster, like four to seven and a half. Apparently, these yellowtail, they move. They'll move like salmon, so they won't be in one area for long. I really never fished for yellowtail before, so it's all new to me. Pretty exciting, though. Damn, look at all that, those birds, dude. Snag. I can't see the tongue. I think Andrew's on a fish right now. It's running, dude, right? That's how you right? I don't know. Is it fighting? Real, real. Don't reel when it's taking drag. I mean, you're the... Man, my sandwich is off the me. <laughs> huh? I can't tell, dude. It's heavy, right? I mean, it's heavy. It's coming in. Oh my god, I dropped my sandwich, dude. In the water? Huh? Dropped it in the water? No, it's right on the, it's on the deck, but... Oh, it's like I still... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, run, 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 run. Food, baby. Oh, uh, we're marking this spot. Oh, man. Oh yeah, baby. Dude, fish pulls right on my bladder. I gotta pee. And you're on the fish. Let's go. <laughs> Yellowtail, baby. It's gotta be right. I mean, it's big. It's pretty heavy. Dude, it was fighting hard. Pulling drag like crazy. It's coming. It's coming in. I got the gaff. Let's move this rod out of the way. Oh, it's... Take your time with it. It'll be good. Getting heavy. Ooh, you see him? You see it? You see it? Nah. <sighs> See him right below us though. Well, it's telling you, telling you, telling you. It's okay. Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> <laughs> nice fish oh, right here. <laughs> Let him take it. It's okay. Dude, this is the biggest thing I ever caught. Oh, my bladder. You're <laughs> good, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, let's go. We in him. We in him. We found him. This is the 15 foot diver, too. It's the sardine color. I got two of these, so. Oh, it's getting heavy. Run, run. Now take it out. Uh, uh, lift up a little bit. Yeah, you, you're doing good, man. We're pretty shallow, too. Oh, it's going around the boat. Oh, here's, oh there he is. Oh, oh, my God. Where's the sauce? Right here. It's right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here, baby. Oh, run, 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 run. Okay, watch, watch the line. Watch the line. Run, run, run. Okay, he's good. I got him good. The drives are good. Are you getting ready? Yeah! Oh, oh, yes! Oh, oh! Out, 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 Oh, sh**. Oh, sh**. You got it? Go. Okay, right here, right here, right here. Yeah. Woo! Get in the boat, baby! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yo, tell me the fish! Man, let go, man! <laughs> Woo! That's a big fish! Hell yeah! Woo, that's a big fish! That's what oh. we came out here for. My God. That's what we came out here for. Oh my God. Trolling. Dude. Let's go, dude. That was the biggest fish I ever, I felt like it was a snag. Yeah, I didn't yeah, even know it was a fish. Oh, oh man, dude, I'm drilling, man. <laughs> oh my God, bonk him, dude. You're not letting him go. <laughs> oh, we're not letting him go. That's for damn sure. Oh my God. We're gonna bonk him. Okay, I think he's dead. Dude. Fuck yeah. One and many more to come. It's early. It's oh early. My oh show, my show, show, show the camera. Wow. Wow, that's all I'm gonna say is wow. Thought it was a snag. I ain't, did. ain't no snag. If I'm not getting snagged at 30 feet down, you're not getting snagged at 15 feet down. Where's my knife? Is my knife up there? I knew it. I knew it was gonna bite on this rod. The one, the one spinning rod. That one's gonna get bit all day. Gonna bleed him now. Just gonna cut his gills, put him on ice. <laughs> Fish on! All right, now no seals. Don't want no seals coming. Can you put some ice from the that cooler into the bait bag cooler? So this is what we were trolling. This 15 foot diving Rap Rapala Rapala X Rap, right there. All right, limit is five of these per person. 
I don't know if we're gonna try to go for our limit, but wow. But we we got one. No boats are around here either. Let's get back in the water, dude. Oh, that's a that's a good 18 pound fish right there. Man, we out here at the Coronado Islands on the butter boat, 17 miles out in Mexico, catching yellowtail. Let's go. How's the line? Check for frays. Got a little fray right here. Even though I want to just put it right back out there, we should really retie. I want to give a quick shout out to Rodney Marquez, a SoCal fisherman. Also, bigger shout out to Scott Fish. Man, you are the man hooking it up with all this local knowledge. Got an Instagram, great fisherman, catching blue t bluefin, yellowfin, yellowtail, all kinds of stuff from shore, halibut, from a boat. So follow him up if you wanna see some fishing stuff in your feed. So I'm gonna tie this one back up for Andrew and then actually I'm gonna go with the, the 20 foot diver, same color as Andrew's. All right, dude, let's get another one. You troll that, troll this right back, right back to the spot. A lot of times it happens when you're eating too. Seriously, eat, eat a little food, catch some fish. So we're trolling around the South Island, but as we were trolling, I see a ton of bait on the fish finder. So just stopping, doing some yo-yo in down about 60 feet, bringing it back up. Maybe we'll get lucky. Do this for about five minutes and we'll continue on. That's Andrew got one on the top. I saw one hit it, I saw it hit it. It's running towards me. Yeah, real fast. Ah, uh, it's off. Oh. It wasn't a good set. Damn, Andrew had one on the top. Oh my gosh. I wonder what I did wrong, dude. Ah, I don't even know what happened. It's pretty exciting. See it. Did you see the whole thing? Yeah. You saw it, it come right up there, and take right, it? Right there, right in front of me? Yeah. That's when it hit. And then I took it. Damn. Yeah, maybe it spit it, I don't know. Getting the hang of the casting, though. Kind of looks like yellowtail, doesn't it? I've never seen a barracuda before. Yeah, this is a pretty nice sized barracuda. Solid ass head. It looks pretty big, right? <laughs> it does. Hella slimy. Is it All right, really? this is the only one we're going to keep. Right. Only barracuda we're going to keep. We could throw them in the long chest. Yeah. Should I bleed them too, though? Catch and cook barracuda coming up. Look at that one, though. Oh, God, that one looks so nice. Oh baby, on the troll. Feels like a good one. It's yellowtail. Yeah baby, we just passed this nice school of bait too. Let me mark this spot. Woo! Let's go. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna make a run towards me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, baby. You gonna net him? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. <laughs> All right, yeah. You don't, you don't want to gaff? You want to try to practice the gaff? I can, I can gaff, when we gaff. Whatever you want to do. I mean, what's your <laughs> Netting is probably a sure thing. Yeah, let's do that thing. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> Woo! Make it Feels like a good it's one. A good fight. Coming, he's coming, he's coming. 65 pound braid, 40 pound fluoro. I'm ready. All right. Gonna let him run if he wants to. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Don't come off now. Come on, dude. That was fish on on the troll. That was napping. You were? Yeah. Oh, there he goes over here. Oh, it's a nice one, dude. That's like a... Oh, that's a nice one. Hell yeah. Hold on, hold on. Not yet. Okay. Get him. Oh, Get him. I'm caught, I'm caught, I'm caught. Oh. Pull me. Oh. Oh, oh my god. god. Dude, I got caught on the rail. Okay. Get him. Oh, Get him. I'm caught, I'm caught, I'm caught. Oh. Pull me. Oh. Oh, oh my god. god. Dude, that was, that was too close. Can I do the honors of the bunk? Yeah, dude. Ooh, baby. Hard, right there in the head. Yeah. 
That was a bad net, my bad. <laughs> Did I break this? No. Uh, no. Yeah, we passed through a school of bait. I was like, man, this might be a fish. It's so crazy. These fish are such good fighters that when you hook them, it's just like you get snagged. On the troll? On the troll. Dude, I was knocked out. Were you actually asleep? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On that sardine color, except this was a 20 foot diver. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's Hamachi right there. Oh, there it is. A lot of blood. That's yellow tail number two for us. One barracuda, two yellow tails. Good job, dude. So fun. That was a great one. Oh, sh oh my god. <laughs> this is so on, dude. Oh. <laughs> Freaking seal almost came up and ate it. Okay, yeah, let's open up the cooler. It's, it's pretty nice, too, though. Hey, let's give him a measure. Let's see how long they are. 33 inches. This one's about the same, too. Huh? 32. Put your rod out too. Yeah. Looks like you guys are coming up, so we probably shouldn't fish, huh? <laughs> Hello? Oh, watch out for the rod. Can you get that rod, Andrew? Let's pull that out. I need your document, please. Okay. You okay with this? You have the next thing? Yeah. So what do you need? Three things, right? The biosphere, the bracelet, two? Yeah. Also the fishy. You have your passport too? Yeah. Passport also? Yeah. Passport for me, uh, something inside. I need a fishing license. Fishing license? Yeah. Okay. There's two inside that one. <laughs> I can take it. Thank you. Can I see how many fish do you have? Yeah. Two yellow tail, one barracuda. <laughs> See? And then nothing in the cooler. I remember you only have you only can fish two cooler? And five of the other ones. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Five rocks or five uh, white, white fish? Only five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Per person, five, five. Five, five. Mm -hmm. five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. See you soon. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Uh, see you soon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got a passport back there? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I'm not sure which one. Old ass. I wish he got 
Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. yeah. I saw them cruising, but I didn't think they would fight. Probably. I was about to start trolling hell fast, seven miles an hour away. So when you come out here and fish Mexico, you might get stopped. So it's probably a good idea to get your documents right. Bring your passport out here, uh, Mexican fishing license, this biosphere bracelet, and your visa, your fishing visa. So you need four things to fish out here. Or else they might just, I don't know what they would do. What, what do you think they would do, just ticket us? I really don't know. Take I'd, us into custody? I don't know. We could, I have no cash, who knows? Mexico's different, man. Yeah. Oh well. That was an experience. Yeah, we made it out safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start trolling again. Right. So total, including trolling, we probably went about 23, 24 miles. 6.6 .6 gallon gas tanks, got about two, two gallons left. 20 horsepower motor, so pretty fuel efficient. 20 horsepower motor, only used four gallons of gas in 22 miles. I'm refilling right now, just to put all the weight back in front get some gas out of here and then we'll be back to San Diego in a minute. All right, time to clean up our catch. Two yellowtail, one barracuda. And since we got th two different types of fish, we're gonna do a little taste test between the two. Take a look at that. Oh yeah. Two nice yellowtail, man. Look at those things. And one barracuda. Let's take a look at these teeth. Look how look how that thing is shaped. What a weird, weird fish. People say they taste good. So we're gonna fillet one of them and fillet the barracuda. Never filleted yellowtail before. Seen a lot of videos though. So going from memory. First thing I'm gonna do is just cut right there, just like almost any other fish. Go all the way up towards the head, come down towards the belly. And then I'm gonna go follow the spine all the way back. All the way back. All right. And then we're gonna do the same thing down here. Just follow that spine. All right, before I cut this piece off, we're gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Letting the knife do the work. Super sharp knife helps a lot. Going all the way back. So see this big old hump there? I'm just going right on it because I filleted both sides up to it. I'm just cutting through the pin bones here and I'm just going right over the rib cage. That seems to work really well. So just right over the rib cage. There's our fillet right there. Just some pin bones right here, but we could take those out really easily. So first time catching yellowtail, and it, I notice it has this really dark meat right here. What do you guys usually do when you catch yellowtail? Do you cut that out? I'm gonna cut it out, because I think it's gonna be pretty fishy. That's how much I took all that out right in the center. Now it looks good. So it probably would make more sense to cut it in half, like a top loin, bottom loin. All right, let's bring this back to the place and eat it up. We're gonna fillet the barracuda back at Andrews. Back at Andrew's house, seasoning the fish right now. I'm gonna throw it on the grill in a minute. So what we have here, yellowtail, barracuda. Yellowtail, barracuda. So what we're gonna do is try no seasoning at all on these two pieces. On these two right here, this yellowtail, we're gonna add salt, pepper, and some burberry seasoning. Same thing with the barracuda. Barracuda. Ooh, nice. It's Fall falling apart. apart. Okay, yeah, put it on the plate. I think this barracuda is done right here. That looks good. I'm gonna break it in half, see if it is. Oh, yeah, perfect. Wow. Dang. Whew, that looks great. That's the barracuda. That's the yellowtail. Funny how they look almost identical now. After being cooked, that pink color comes right out of the yellowtail. All right. Give it a shot. Alright, what do you want to do first? Uh, the barracuda? Yeah, let's do the barracuda. Alright, All right, little barracuda right here. No seasoning. Not bad. It's good. It still tastes like a white fish. Put a little seasoning on it. I'd eat that all day. A little yellowtail. See if there's a little taste difference between the two. It's meaty. The texture is more firm for sure. 
kind of reminds me of halibut a little bit. Barracuda is a lot softer. Mm. That barracuda with that Burberry, really good, really good. You like the yellow tail more? I do. The textures are better. Yellow tail right there. Almost has a citrusy flavor. Right? It's just me. Barracuda almost reminds, reminds me of perch. Surf perch meat. It is, huh? Kind of mushy a little bit? A little mushy. Well, we did it. This was just a spontaneous decision we made to go out to the Coronado Islands 20 miles out and it was successful. Well, we're back home and I was thinking, I don't think that Andrew and I did that yellowtail justice. So when I got home, I filleted mine up. My wife and I tried it sashimi style and it was actually really, really good. I should have put that on camera. But anyway, there's something now that I want to try. I think might be really good. Got the collars right there, the belly pieces also. I brined it last night, six parts sugar, one part salt. I wanted to do a little bit more sugar so it wouldn't be so sweet, so salty. And now I'm gonna throw it in the smoker at 180 degrees, maybe about 20, 25 minutes only. See how it turns out. Well, it's done, and I've been munching on it here for the past five minutes, trying to figure out what I think it tastes like, and I think I've narrowed it down to something like mackerel. Kind of tastes like mackerel. Now, the collars are a little thicker, so they're still cooking, but I would say the one time I've been fishing for yellowtail, the best way to enjoy it is probably sashimi. It's really, really good like that. Nice, delicate flavor. Texture is amazing. Straight, fresh like that. Little soy sauce. But this ain't bad either. Skin comes right off. Nice and oily, these uh, belly pieces and the collar. I'm sure the collar is too. Comes right off the skin. Anyway, that was pretty crazy getting stopped by the Mexican police or whatever that was out at the Coronado Islands. But everything went smoothly. i totally do it again. If there's another yellow tail run, I'm gonna be back down there driving 550 miles from San Francisco to San Diego. If there's a yellow fin run or a blue fin run, I might go down there too. Tuna on the butter boat. If I think it might happen, it just might happen. Anyway, thanks for watching you guys. I'm sure, I mean, that's just, I don't know. You guys, you guys are the best keeping this channel going, motivating me to go out and catch these fish I never would have if I didn't have this YouTube channel. So just wanna give a big thank you and I'll see you again very soon next week.